We started making names right away, and we I loved them. I was robbing drug dealers, taking their gold right off their neck. The shit we did, you know, who's going to call the police on you? A drug dealer? I can identify with anything that was normal, to be honest with you. But I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. 99% of the time, you're going to disappear. Just like the Donnie Brasco situation with Lefty. Yeah, who are the reason why they figure it this way. You brought this guy around, he ratted on everybody, now he ratted on you, you might turn around and join him and rat on us, so we get rid of you, there's no connection between there and there, they get rid of you. Welcome to this episode of Chatting with Stacks, I'm your host Bill Stacks, and today I got Jay Davis. What's going What's on, up, man? man? How, How you, you doing? doing? I'm good. I'm great, man. man. Thank you for joining me, man. I appreciate you taking oh. the time. Oh, thanks for having me, brother. You are hilarious. <laughs> I gotta tell <laughs> you, man. Appreciate I'm it. telling you, when I when I watch your your skits and things, man, I uh-huh. can't stop laughing. Oh, like, thank uh, you. Man. I think people are going to be quite surprised at the level of talent that you have. Right. Oh, thank you. That means a lot, man. And uh, here's the crazy thing. The stuff that you're seeing now is like five years old. <laughs> oh, so you have a lot of material built up? <laughs> yeah, like it's it's five years old. Like uh, I just started reposting stuff and I started like reading up on trying to get the algorithm on Instagram and TikTok. And so the, the they were already, they were funny sketches, but it's just like when I originally posted them, I didn't get no views on them. <laughs> and now all of a sudden I started doing my research. I know when to post and what to tag. And uh, like a few of them just went viral. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's uh, it's uh. So do you have them all recorded? Or yeah, they all recorded. recorded. Like everything's recorded. Like I have, I haven't shot. We have like a show that we released in February called Creative Hustle, and it's stand up and sketch comedy. So that's all the newest stuff that I have, and that's streaming on Tubi right now. But everything I have like hours of sketches. <laughs> yeah, man. So where where are you born and raised? I was born in uh, Bellwood, Illinois, like right outside of Chicago. And uh, how old are you? I'm um, 40, shit, 42. I almost forgot. <laughs> yeah, man. Happy Father's Day, I, everybody out there, to all the fathers. Mm-hmm. Happy Father's Day. Yeah. And shout out to everybody that pulled out. The, yeah, if you pulled out, you don't yeah. get Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man if you uh like the skit i was watching the skit before we came on about the uh you buying the condom at uh <laughs> yeah buying the uh the magnum right she's like what the hell you want me to do with this <laughs> like that's an awkward that that like a lot of my um sketches are for two experiences and that just had like i'm like is this ra-? the sketch is like called is this racist it's like a game show that we made but I had to yeah. take that part out because of Instagram or whatever. But that actually happened. And like I went in there and she just like immediately slammed the condoms on the ground on the counter. And I had like a lot of people behind me. So I'm not gonna be like, oh, not these, ma'am. <laughs> like, yeah, so, you you don't want to embarrass <laughs> yourself in front of right. all these people, right? <laughs> but she just instantly assumed that a black guy needed magnets. <laughs> <laughs> so you took them. I took them. Fuck it. <laughs> so is that the real story when you got home? <laughs> that's the real, but it wasn't that bad. It was like, you know, it had the, the giant condom that I had. But it wasn't yeah, that. you're a roll. What the hell am I supposed to do with Look, this, man? I was like, at the end of the day, you don't need condoms. For some... <laughs> hey, and then you'll be able to have a happy Father's Day next year. <laughs> exactly. Condoms overrated. So what was it like growing up in the, outside of Chicago? I was cool, man. I had, a, you know, I don't have that uh, that terrible story, like you know, nobody never loved me and shit like that. My my life is pretty good. Uh, everything's been going pretty great on on my end. Um, I got supportive family, friends, and so um, when I started doing this uh, twelve years ago, everybody was behind me a hundred percent. 
And what made you want to focus onto the comedy? Was there a, a thing that really st steered you that direction? Did you have people you looked up to or anything like that? Yeah, I've always loved comedy. Um, the way, like, you know, it changes people's day. Like, you can be having a horrible day. You just see something funny. You're like, you know what? I can forget about this for a minute. Like, me making somebody forget about some bullshit they're going through for, for a minute and a half. I'm cool with that. Um, I've always looked up to like Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, Dave Chappelle, um, early and living color stuff that always like intrigued me and how they was able to make people laugh. Yeah. Richard Pryor, Pryor was great, man. What was oh, yeah. that movie with that? He had that young white kid. Oh, the toy. He, uh, <laughs> the toy. That was a great movie, man. <laughs> the piranhas chewed his, his uh, pants up and he was running right. across the water. Right. Right. Hilarious. So, so when you, how do you, what were you doing before you got into the comedy? Did you have a career and all that? I have a career. I was just working, working a regular customer service and logistics. Uh, I knew I wanted to do something comedy related. Um, I tried stand up, and I like stand up. It's just my my life could not do stand up at the time. I couldn't be at a comedy club five days out of the week working on bits, but I did like writing and I like, maybe I can write something and start filming it. So I wrote some stuff and I was on Facebook. And I just looked up like videographers and I found like the first guy that like answered my post, I like start shooting stuff with him. <laughs> oh man, I wish I would have known when you started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, just, I mean, I, I just got started with this probably uh, three, three and some change, three, three and a half years ago. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It hasn't That's been very up. long. All I right. was kind of into the music before I got into the video. Mm -hmm. But how, so how do you how do you find the people? How do you find the people to, to uh, work networking. with? Yeah, this networking, hopping in Facebook groups. Um, I mean, it's a lot of uh, talented people in Chicago. So these last... 12, 13 years, I've just constantly just been building like uh, a, a bigger group of actors and comedians to work with. And so it's like, I have, I don't have enough stuff for everybody. That's the crazy part. But I have a nice network of people that I just met, just, just talking to people on Facebook, Instagram. Hey, I'm an actor. Do you need anybody for this role? Yeah, just, you know, send me your resume, send me your headshots, your reels. And it's just, just building that like roster. Do you remember your first experience being uh, going up on stage or your first experience like uh, stepping up your game? The first the first time I did a premiere, um, I did like my first movie in tw like a feature film in 2011. And I didn't I made all it was just like the craziest, like ridiculous film ever. And. I just, you know, I had a shoestring budget, but I could, it was an hour and 30 minute movie. It was just a comedy movie. And I just like, you know, released it. I put it, I um, rented out of theater. And then I was just like, you know, I just, you know, tell people to come see it or whatever. And like 500 people I'd never met like showed up. Like, it was like, really just heard about it. Yeah. It was, I'm like, damn, my first premiere had 500 people. Then I was like, I might be able to do this. Like, if I really try, I just like, in my mind, I didn't even try hard enough. Like, I just like, all right, I'm doing the premiere. Come see it if you guys ain't got shit else to do. And it turned out pretty good. And then you're networking with other people that are like-minded like you, right? Right, right. Like-minded like creatives just, you know, just want to see their talent on a bigger platform. What does it take for you to, um like, the first time you did stand-up, was it nerve-wracking and 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 what what was the preparation to go on stage in front of people and perform? It was it was nerving. I never did something like that because now I'm like an introvert naturally. That's what people don't realize about me. So it's like I'm gonna try this shit out. And I I've just been writing down like at the time I was just writing down jokes and little things was happening to me or whatever. And it wasn't bad. I got a few laughs, but it's just like I got. And then a uh, uh, older comedian was like, "Yeah, that's that's pretty good. You just got to keep coming back and working on it and working." On it. I'm like. Fuck, I gotta keep doing the same shit over and over. And it's like I didn't want to do that. So yeah, some people use the same routine when they go to different right. things, and sometimes they change it up. It's all right. Some people wing it. Some people got it like that, can just go up there yeah. and just be themselves and 
they I salute them. That's that's the matter. It's like in my mind, I couldn't I don't I didn't think I could keep up with the pace of uh, like the the regulars doing that. And it's like I'm a storyteller, and I figured I should start writing more stories. So that's what led me to just be writing, like shooting movies and sketches and stuff. Yeah, those sketches are are great, man. I I just I I gotta look for more people to work with so I can get the things that I want to get out, right? So I can get them done, you know. Yeah, it's all about just networking and this like 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 what we did like we met on Instagram through a sketch and. You know, you just reach out to me or whatever. It's just this is networking at the end of the day. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play a clip of uh one of your sketches for everybody okay. right now. So everybody hit the like button if you guys like this type of stuff. And um go subscribe to Jay Davis. He's funny as hell. Thank you. Like like really funny. <laughs> like you guys are gonna <laughs> really laugh at this one. The singer one, man. <laughs> no. gonna, oh man. What I really meant to say was I want to spend the rest of my life with you and the uncle. Every time I close my eyes, I wake up feeling so horny. I can't get you out of my mind. Sexy you is all I see. I would give anything just to make you understand me. <laughs> I don't really give a damn about Jay. Call me to get all the pipe you need. My number no, no, is no, 773. No, 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 no. What was that? What was that? You gonna give my girl a pipe? You said it. I said that? I was there when you said it. Um, but you know what? When I'm singing, I'm singing as if I'm you. Like, I, it's me singing, but I'm singing as if I'm you. So it's my pipe. This was this to get absolutely. Why would I be talking about my pipe? <laughs> I mean, it's your girl. Yeah, right? I mean, Come on, man. Oh, well, well, you, you gave her your number. What's up with that? I was not gonna answer if she called. <laughs> I swear, oh God, I would, I would, I would, I would, again, I wouldn't do that to you, Jay. Again, I'm just, right, I'm just, right, me, man. Me. Yeah, it's yeah. Cool, man. Uh, makes sense. <laughs> oh, man, now we got to check out part two. <laughs> so you standing there, and you didn't even notice me. So we'll remain passers-by. Until the next time we speak, I hope that I can make you mine. Cause Leah, you're so goddamn fine. I swear you can ride <laughs> my face. A million trillion. What the fuck was that? What was that? You know what? I'm just so happy for you and Leah, bro. My bad. I just, I, I just got so into it. <laughs> Man. You had thrown out a Roger face. A million no, no. trillion times. You said that. You know what? I'm just so happy for you and Leah, bro. Like, I, I just, you know what? I just got into it and I probably just, you know, lost myself, man. You know, that's, yeah. that's, that's all. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You got another song? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny, man. Too funny. <laughs> thank oh, you. Thank man. you. Shout out to my guy Jay Hollins and uh Dante Diesel. He's the um director and cinematographer to shot that. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah. You, you met them guys on online and, and built a network and started shooting with them. So this is why this happened. So I used to do a podcast and um uh, I met Jay Hollins. I forgot someone told him about my podcast and um I reached out to him, asked to be a guest. He came, guess you know he's an R&B singer, and um he was like, hey, we start network from there. He's like, you know, if you need anybody for your next movie, let me know. I want to get into acting. I'm like, cool. Um, so he was in my second movie called Shots Fired. Uh, from there, he was like, hey, you are my best friend. Diesel need to meet, and um, Diesel he went. He's a cinematographer for NBC, um, Chicago. And so, you know, we linked up and we just started working together from there. Hey, that's how you do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious.
<laughs> so <laughs> during you. during these shoot shooting the um productions that you do shoot, mm. did you you started shooting before COVID and all that, right? We start well, like so. I've been doing this since twenty. I saw my first feature film in twenty eleven. So we yeah we, we and then we end up through COVID we started shooting stuff through COVID. Me and um uh, uh, Omar Moore we started planning Creative Hustle um during COVID <laughs> in the midst of COVID. <laughs> yeah. So just, did it did it change up your plans? COVID did it like really uh sway it, your plans? It, I got more busier during COVID than I did outside it, pre and post COVID. Like it just, I was able to write more, focus more. And just like, you know, we couldn't shoot like big elaborate stuff, like have a lot of extras in certain scenes, but we were able to navigate through. And we did two live tapings, stand up tapings um, in October, 2021 for Creative Hustle. That's awesome, man. So yeah. do do you guys do live shows and things like that? Like we like, yeah, just for a cre um we got actually like a comedy show coming up this Saturday um for our distance for season two of Creative Hustle. So Creative Hustle is like um live comedian. I don't know if you remember Robert Townsend's partners in crime, but it features yeah. live comedians, um, a live performance and sketches all in one show. Each it's like six 30 minute episodes right now. And so um we shot that two days in october of 2021 and we're planning to shoot season two in september this is it right here right yeah uh creative hustle that's one of the sketches from here yeah, i, I gotta one. stop i gotta stop following someone to, in order to follow you <laughs> i'm following too many people so yeah man you got all these people involved Oh, yeah, it's those uh, are, June 24th. You got a show coming up. Saturday. Yeah, that's the, the audition. It's like a showcase for the new batch of comedians that's possibly going to be on season two. Oh, so you're you're going out there and scouting for new talent. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, man. You guys are giving oh, yeah. people a chance. Right. So if there's if there's people out there, how do they get in touch with you through this um Instagram? You can come my personal Instagram, J J Davis TP or Creative Hustle. Uh, official Instagram. Uh, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, LinkedIn. <laughs> Just reach out. Yeah, I got. I have all your links are in the description of this video. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. So, have you had any situations happen when you were filming any of these movies that mm -hmm. like stand out to you? Any craziness <laughs> happen? It's a few times. Like, you got arrested before. <laughs> What at the movie? No, at, while we were filming. So, all right, we were shooting a prank, a fake prank show in uh the back in my parents' alley. And so uh, I saw the police officer like across the street. We weren't doing nothing illegal, we're just filming. And I saw him across the street at a Dunkin' Donuts in the drive-thru. And so in the, the scene, this homeless guy's supposed to like fake stomp me out. And so he, you know, the camera's all around. He, you know, perceived to fake stomach me out. Police just came over, like lights flashed. And I'm like, okay, let me explain to him. But, hey guys, what's going on? Um, I'm like, we're shooting something real quick. It's nothing, not a big deal. Oh, okay, cool. Let me see your ID. Me not knowing that I had a traffic warrant, I wouldn't have gave him my ID. <laughs> oh, I would have ran in the house. <laughs> so I'm like, sure, officer, here's my ID. And so he ran it, and um, he's like, yeah, okay, cool. Um, I need you to put your hands behind your back. I'm like, what? <laughs> so You're all he, filming. You're thinking your day's just going to keep going. Right. And they're like, no, nah, we're going to put a stop to all that. <laughs> yeah. So they throw me in a car. So my, my uh, uh, partner, Diesel, uh, he works for NBC. He's going to get his credentials. So he went and got his credentials, and they ran his name. So apparently, like, I didn't know this, but he had, like, somebody his id and some other guy's id name his name is dante other guy's name david williams somehow this shit crossed he got warrant they, too right <laughs> yeah the david that. williams dude was like a criminal oh, <laughs> it was like man. we gotta take you to jail to get this straight out so we're both in a holding cell with no shoestrings in our shoes <laughs> laughing <laughs> oh my god so you're both sitting in there yeah, so he got his. I had I bailed out. He got his situation straightened out after like two hours, but it was just like so. I guess we'll have to reshoot this. Huh? 
<laughs> so that's what happened. That is crazy, man. You th you're thinking it's all gonna go smooth, and the cops yeah. end up showing up, and uh... uh, yeah, I was so I was I'm like, why would I give my ID? I was just so like, here, here, officer, I'm uh, I'm a good citizen. Take my ID. <laughs> yeah, but it takes care of it so, too, yeah. right? It takes care of, right. of the issue you had. You don't have to deal with that type of stuff now. You got it all taken right. care of. Yeah. So what what were the differences from before before shooting and then COVID happening and shooting after? Were there a lot of changes that you had to go through? And uh... yeah, we we had to do a lot of safety call uh, protocols, wearing masks. Um, we have like like whenever we shoot, we have a lot of fun on set. You know, people talk, make jokes. It was just like it was real weird during COVID. Like everybody had a mask on, nobody was really talking, nobody's like you know hugging each other. And it was just like we were away from each other until it was time to shoot the scene. Then we come, take our mask off, shoot the scene, and then next scene, put our mask back on, go sit somewhere. It was just real, like, and everybody was on edge too, because it's like throughout the week you're constantly hearing people dying from COVID, hearing these numbers, but yet we're out filming. Like, all right, I hope nobody, I hope everybody make it. <laughs> I know people were dropping like boom, 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 boom. It yeah. was crazy, man. And it's like you know, it's like I know a lot of a lot of people have that like whatever the issue is with the vaccine. With we can't the talk about that. We can't talk right. about that. Right. I'll we, get, we, they'll, 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 they'll go pew to my whole channel. <laughs> right. if we talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, it was just like you know, I had to have people use their better judgment. We would get people make them have a test before. Um, yeah. It wasn't no like a persecution if you didn't or did not. But I just like just go get tested within forty eight hours. And so, you know, we all feel comfortable, regardless yeah, of what. Just trying to be safe is. so everyone right. is not, you know. Yeah. And I, I know what you're talking about, that on ed edge stuff, man. People mm. were on edge. They still oh, are, yeah. I think. People yeah. are, they're just treat people different, man. It's not, yeah. it's not the same anymore. It's nah, it's not. not. A, it's a different world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up, Harrison? How you doing, man? Um. Yes, I love to laugh. That's what life's all about. Laughing you have is uh, to. <laughs> it's the key to life. Yeah, you have to, man. It's you know, it's it's too much terrible stuff out here not to laugh at. You think uh, look at some of your life experiences that you like at at the time they were terrible, but when you look back, you're like, no, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that was kind of <laughs> funny a little bit. <laughs> man, uh, most of most of my past was uh, I try to have lighthearted with it you know what i mean yeah. lighthearted with it all mm -hmm. but um so have you had any serious situations happen besides like getting arrested for a traffic warrant um serious like nothing bad nothing to the fight like no you know never had any fights not going wood nothing bad it was just um what was the one uh a guy got uh naked on set which was weird <laughs> Why, like, why? Why would he do that? So it was. This is for. It was my second movie uh, called Shots Fired, and in a scene, like the guy was like a victim, and he was getting like choked in the bathtub, so he was like completely wet. But you know, we had clothes. We gave him a towel, and so after the scene, he's there cut. And here's a towel. Uh, we're gonna go. So we're outside <laughs> talking, and he like, mind you, it's a room. Yo, I lost you. You there? I lost him. He'll be back in one minute. What's up, Paul? Cindy, how are you? Harrison, what's going on, man? Tracy, how are you? Thank you for joining me tonight. Hey, Jay, can you hear me? You might have got a phone call or something. Yo, Jay, if you if you go out and come back in, it'll uh oh we're good. Can you hear me? Okay. Not cool. I hear all you. Right, we're good. Yeah, well, all right. What were you saying? Uh what part did you hear? What was the last part you heard? Oh man, I <laughs> yeah, I, I I was trying to uh oh. keep up with the chat. <laughs> totally oh. uh it. <laughs> So yeah, it was a scene. He he got completely wet in the bathtub. Oh yeah, oh oh the the naked guy running around the yeah, studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just he was just, it was just a weird situation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use to say the word normal 
as a man. Stay care, bro. Cadillac Jack, what's up, man? Orange soda makes uh cow having laughter in my life. I miss it. <laughs> I miss it lately. I know laughing is is um it really is the key to life. It'll make you happy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Laughter is medicine. <laughs> Let's <laughs> check out this skit. This one is hilarious. If if you got children in the room, I suggest you take them out now <laughs> because uh, this is some grown up content. <laughs> All right, which ones did I play first? This one or that one? Uh, you can play the uh, first one, the one you're on right now. It, it, it's Jay Jasmine. Deaf interpreter. This is how I found hey. you. <laughs> oh, you you look cutie looking like a little Mitch Gerald Bird, huh? Who the hell said that? I said she deaf, and I'm gonna interpret her, man. So she can read your lips, man. But when she wanna say something, I said, man. All right. That's cool, I guess. Bring your cute ass on in there, man. Hell. You somehow no problem finding no man. <laughs> Look, man, I'm, I'm not really looking for no for no man right now, man. <laughs> okay, what are you looking for? Huh? <laughs> 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 Look, man, I'm not looking for somebody to run up in my guts, man. <laughs> Look, oh, God. Can you write? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? Can you write what you have to tell me down? This shit is kind of weird. <laughs> Look, man, I'm trying to get my back blowed out, man. Can you handle that? <laughs> can you? I guess so. <laughs> you guess. You guess. Man, I hope you ain't scared, man. He's scared. I see you licking my titties and shit. <laughs> I, I ain't scared. But can can we have a drink or something that set the mood? Oh, it, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Boy, if you don't pull that thing out, come on, man. <laughs> it, it, it's Jake Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We gotta go to part two. Are you guys ready for part two? <laughs> Something that set the mood. This is kind of weird. Boy, if you don't pull that thing out, come on, man. <laughs> you don't have to say everything. Shit. <laughs> you like that shit? <laughs> I said you like. You like that shit? Oh, shit, goddammit. You all in this. Oh. Hey. Oh. Can you go another one? Oh, shit. You all in these guts, man. I can feel all the meat in me, man. I can feel every vein. Shit. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you shut the fuck up. Man, this ain't me, man. This is Jasmine, man. I'm about to come. I'm about to come. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm going to go home. Uh, oh. Have a nice life, okay? <laughs> I'll finish in my car. Are you safe on the way home? <laughs> Something that cut the mood. Yo, that's <laughs> too much, man. <laughs> Too much. What made you think of these? Uh, right. Shout out to uh, Famo and Lisa Lair. So that is that came from a bit that that guy Famo, comedian Famo, he had, and he I heard the bit before when he did it on stage, and I was like, that could be a good sketch. And he was like, what? And so I'm like, just trust me. So I wrote it out. We actually shot that. That's probably one of the oldest. We shot that in 2017. <laughs> so, Yo, I'm telling just, you. Everybody sees it. All the people watching, this guy is beyond Hollywood. It's definitely, I'm telling you, if, if the networks are out there watching, I know a lot of people from the TV world. I deal with a lot of people. I know there's not a lot of people watching right now, but eventually the 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 um videos build views and yeah. I've got a lot yeah, of connections hit, with a lot of people, man. Yeah, that one hit 3.5 million. The first part hit 3.5 million. So I was like, oh, right. shit. <laughs> yeah. So do you remember your first viral video? It, it was recent. That feeling Honestly, like, man. The first, you know what? 
that video went viral, but it wasn't from me. I posted it like a few years back. I posted it on Facebook and I maybe got like 500 views. Somebody else took the video and posted it on their page and it hit a million views. <laughs> So, oh, so they I, got your views <laughs> right i was like i did the same same video uh 500 views they posted it and hit a million <laughs> sometimes you you have to just repost things you know yeah and i just i was just like oh, i need something else something to post i'm like oh i haven't posted this in a while and i just posted it on instagram and that shit i woke up in the morning like what why is my phone dinging so much and i went from my i got, got like seven thousand followers in a day it was crazy <laughs> So are you on TikTok too? Yeah, I'm on TikTok too. So that and my TikTok started going up from other video old videos I started posting. When you get a million views, it's insane, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Start going viral. I everyone's saying it's like the Chappelle show. It is. It's it's it is. hilarious. Yeah. It's it's that quality too, man. Yeah, that was that was one of my biggest influences. When I first started doing that, I used to like watch it and I was just amazed by that. Cause I've never, I at the time, I like I never seen shit like this on TV. And the stuff he was talking about, and the satire he was doing, I just never seen that. Do you you have plans to keep going with this, right? Oh yeah, oh like yeah. Like you're not gonna blow up, be like Chappelle, run off, right? run off that. <laughs> nah, I hope nothing makes me run off Africa. So no, nah, that's not the plan, man. I want I want to be a showrunner. Uh, I just just want to be in a better position where I can help others be in a good position. Hey, it looks like you're doing a great job so far, man. You really are. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, let me, uh, I got this. Let me play the cancel culture video. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's from, that's from Creative Hustle. That's one of the newer sketches, but we, again, we shot that in 2021, I think, yeah. All right, you guys ready for this? Check this out. Hit the like button. And if you can, donate to the channel. <laughs> I think he's deciding on which one of us he wants to kill next. Shit! Uh, give me the black! Sorry! I well, killed our bitch! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, you, you can't kill us because, because... Uh, We're not black! Uh, yeah, we, we identify as white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We white as fuck. We yeah, have privilege uh -huh. and everything, yeah. so you, you can't fuck. Yeah. yeah. Wait! You can't kill me because I'm a Tubi and check this out, man. He's got yeah. a lot of good stuff on there. Yeah, that was a shout out to Omar Moore. Uh, he shot and directed that one. And that was a result of um, Halloween Kills. <laughs> what about this one? Oh, uh, the Tailory. Oh, that was one of my favorite ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's check it out. All right. All right. Um, nice. Okay, guys, let's jump over to page. Uh, gets caught up with the wrong four, people. Right? And we're gonna start with Jay's haircut. His IG is in the okay. description. Interior: Andy's bedroom night. Andy leads Morgan to the The night is gonna be special for the both of us. I can't wait to give you these vigorous caveman pumps. Morgan looks into Andy's eyes passionately. I'm ready for you to plunge your unprotected meat monster deep inside my Mississippi mud pie. Uh, Jay? Oh, baby, is your next line. Oh, hell no. It's, it's, what's wrong? Why are you reading the part for a girl? 
No, Jacob's character is transgender. Yeah. Just as a table ridiculous. Should I move closer to Jay for this next scene? He's supposed to flick hot <laughs> wax on my belly button. Did anyone bring hot candle? Oh, you want to sit here? Yeah. Say your ass there, I will kill you. S sit down. <laughs> sit down. Okay. Uh, let's just go to page 72. <laughs> um let's see. Uh do you mind if I improv a little bit? Okay, <laughs> all right. All right. All right. You know, uh, <laughs> we next. Okay, guys, let's yeah. jump over to part two is on there, right? All right. Yeah, let's... it's some um, yeah. Funny. Things I would rather you know I... and not a girl. What are you doing? Jimmy! Oh. You know, Go to hell. Let's see if I can find part two. Let's see. Is it this one though? Keep going. Nah, that's not it. Uh, okay. might be down. Yeah. Uh, I posted it at some point. Here's wait, wait, go up. Read. Is it right here? Yeah. The, oh, no, one more. Uh, right here. Going. I saw it. I, nah, that's not. It. Keep going. Right, right here. there. Yeah. <clears throat> um let's see uh do you mind if i improv a little bit yeah go ahead <laughs> interior andy's bedroom night andy and morgan are laying in bed after several rounds of intense intercourse <laughs> that was quick <laughs> i got a lot on my mind it's always your excuse. Maybe if you cleaned up a little bit more, I can get comfortable, you know? Clean up. Yeah, clean up. It's filthy around here. Your rope just got roped. Fuck you, Mark. No, go fuck up some of them dishes in the sink. I bet you don't talk to your wife like that. Leave my wife's name out of your mouth. Oh, so keep your wife's name out of my mouth, but not your taint. <laughs> you will never take the place of my wife, okay? So all I'm ever going to be is a side bitch, huh? How you going to be a side bitch when you can't make no goddamn babies? Hmm? Man, fuck you, dog. Yo, is real? No, I think, I think I'm sweet. Think of somebody else. Huh? <laughs> He said, bro, it's in the script. <laughs> that was hilarious, man. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, that, that's one of my favorites. Shout out to Kai, uh, the guy who played the guy the opposite of me. He's an amazing actor. <laughs> he was like, I didn't realize how he was how he was staring at me when I wasn't looking at him. That was the funny part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When he's on, <laughs> he was like, uh, yeah, I didn't know how like, it was and done shit. and actually saw it. I'm like, oh, he's looking at me the whole time. <laughs> I'm trying to find the one. All right, I got I got the one where you uh. I got the condom one. Stay tuned, oh, man. man. It's a, it's a like button, people. This one's funny as hell. Um, let me have 15 on three. A uh, box of tropical fusion and swishers. And a box of condoms. And what should today's contestant do? Should he A, just pay for the magnums and leave the store? Um. Uh, you go. Keep the change. Thank you for not stealing. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god. Do I have to put that in the dryer first? <laughs> to drink it out with it? <laughs> oh my god. You gonna put your dick and your balls in it, Jay? <laughs> Did you get a dick implant? I don't know about. <laughs> Did they give you the horse too? Did they come with some magic beans to make a dick bigger? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Part two is, is part two on there? No, we, I didn't post part two yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys got uh, yeah, to stay tuned for part com two. Yeah, hilarious. comedian just needs, she's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, man, she was funny as hell. Yeah. You really got to... Uh, a uh, good cast of people, and um, I see this this thing going pretty big, man. I really do. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Definitely, a lot of uh, a lot of talented people. They definitely deserve to uh, oh. go far, you know. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Someone at Bravo started following me. That's good connect oh, to nice. have, right? Cadillac Jack, what's his yeah. IG? Oh, yeah. What's your IG for people? At J Davis, J A Y Davis T P. At J A Y Davis T is in team, P is in positive. <laughs> yeah, man. And you have a an event coming up, uh, the twenty. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, right. Yes, yes. Yeah, Saturday, June twenty fourth. Um, Comedy Club Riddles. We're doing um auditions slash showcase for new comedians for season two of Creative Hustle. So to be, we got like eighteen comedians coming out. Um, and in hopes of being on featured on season two of the show. That's dope, man. So what's yeah. in store for you next after um this creative hustle? Do you have things in the works, other things that you're working yeah, on? We, yeah, right now, in between shooting sketches for season two of Creative Hustle, uh, me and my partner Omar Moore, we're doing a, uh, a horror anthology, like doing horror movies. Um, so we got a horror anthology we're working on, and season one of that, and then I have another horror series that's on Tubi called EYH. At some point, we're gonna shoot season two of that. That's dope, man. Yeah. I look forward to seeing more of your work, man. You really, uh, you. a lot of people are saying it's funny as hell. You got <laughs> let Chappelle get a hold of this guy's work. <laughs> let Chappelle get a hold of your work. <laughs> right, right. I've I've seen a, a few duplicates of some of uh, some of the sketches. I'm like, hey, that looks vaguely familiar, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> hey, man, I'm I know I do a lot of things, and uh, I notice other people copying things I do, but I, I yeah. take it as a compliment because yeah. I can keep doing more and better, mm -hmm. and they can't. They just got to keep right. copying, so they keep copying. Right. <laughs> I'll just keep producing more and better, you know? Exactly, exactly. It, they don't have the talent, you know? They just don't have right. it, so. Let them, uh, let them get the scraps, Jay. <laughs> you know, someone's got to eat the scraps. Right. <laughs> Definitely, man. But I appreciate you taking the time. I really do. And, oh, man, um, thanks for having me, man. It's been everyone, a go check him out on Tubi. The link is in the description of this video. His Instagram is there. The um, Tubi, the, um, all of it. There, You have a LinkedIn, right? Yeah, uh, it's yeah. everything's in my LinkedIn. All of my, I have like um, three feature films on Tubi. Not another black movie. Not another zombie movie. Um, they're all on Tubi. I have uh, Reckless Enlightenment, my first sketch comedy show, and Creative Hustle is on there. And what's the other one? Uh, Edyh, the horror series. If you're into horror movies, check that out. Definitely. Oh, when your face is all painted, all crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just saw that picture. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Hey, let me show, Wait, show the people. I just seen the picture right here. I was like, damn, man, they really fucked you uh, up in that cell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you have to see that scene. It's it's more I was a serious kind of role or whatever. So yeah, you got I can't I don't want to give it away, but uh I got my ass whooped. <laughs> so <laughs> when I posted that picture, like people are like, who did it? <laughs> Where they at? So, yeah, they thought it was real, right? Yeah, it was a great makeup. Great makeup. Yeah, man. A lot of like because you're on here doing different skits and things, people when you're when you're in character, they think it's it's really happening to you. You're like yeah. damn man, people shooting guns and things. You're like, right. no nah, man, they're all fake. It's so bad. Like uh when I proposed to my wife uh like four years ago, uh I had posted a video of it and people thought it was like a sketch. They were like, I don't get it, it's not funny. I'm like, it's it's real. It wasn't yeah. a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they think everything you post is a sketch, right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're like, No, I really need bond money, man. It's not a sketch. They arrested me <laughs> right. during the right. they got me. Come help. <laughs> You're walking out of there where you're fucking. Do you got all that on tape too? Uh, I think he's at, at somewhere. That footage is somewhere because oh, we had a camera like that. on the ground. Yeah, of them arresting us. So yeah, we we definitely got that footage somewhere. Definitely. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, someone said they saw my interview with Ann Bick. It dropped today. Um, the interview on live oh, nice. with Ann Bick. So uh, I went out to mm -hmm. Hyde Park, New York, and got interviewed by him. It was pretty dope, man. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll definitely. It's on your page. Yeah. Well, I'll be dropping okay. some. Uh, I'll be dropping some clips. I uh, okay. had to wait till he he put it out, and now I'll be dropping little clips of it. And, okay, uh, cool. Everyone will be able to check it out. I'm working on a movie as well, man. I'll talk to you oh, a little bit know. about it after I cut this off. Um, okay. Sounds I, good. I appreciate you taking the time, and uh, everyone mm -hmm. go follow Jay. He's got a lot of good stuff coming, and um, sky's the limit, bro. Oh, Definitely, man. Thank you so much. Definitely. If you guys like this type of stuff and you guys want to see more of Jay's work, go follow him and hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can get my videos every time they drop. And if you don't like my content, too bad. Go make your own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, don't be a bitch. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>